प्लीज बी रेडी फॉर डिक्टेशन ऑफ पार्ट वन ऑफ अ मटेरियल टेकन फ्रॉम द वेबसाइट बाइजोस डॉट कॉम ऑन कॉम्प्रोलर एंड ऑडिटर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया विच कैन बी सूटेबल फॉर डी डी सी पी ए स्किल एंड एनी अदर स्किल एग्जाम फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट कॉम्प्रोलर एंड ऑडिटर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया is the apex authority responsible for external and internal audits of the expenses of the national and state governments it is popularly known as the cag of india in this article we will discuss in brief about the office of the cag and its functions part 5 of the indian constitution describes the role and responsibilities of this office in chapter 5 the comptroller and auditor general is one of the few offices directly appointed by the president of india the comptroller and auditor general is appointed by the president of india and can be removed from office only in the manner and on the grounds that a judge of the supreme court is removed the person appointed to this office should take an oath of office before the president or any other person appointed by the office of the president the salary service conditions leaves of absence pension and age of retirement are determined by the parliament of india and specified in the second schedule such that the service conditions and salary will not be modified to the disadvantage of the incumbent during their tenure the cag is not eligible for any further office after the end of their tenure either in the government of india or any state government the powers and functions of the cag are subject to the provisions of the indian constitution and any acts of parliament along with the service conditions for the indian audits and accounts department the rules governing these would be prescribed by the president in consultation with the incumbent the expenses on the administration of this office including all allowances salaries and pensions would be charged to the consolidated fund of india the incumbent is appointed for a period of 6 years or until attaining the age of 65 years whichever is earlier in order to be able to discharge duties effectively certain privileges and powers which facilitate the process of auditing have been given to this office the following are the major powers of the cag of india the comptroller and auditor general or his staff can inspect any office of the organizations which are subject to his audit he and his staff can scrutinize the transactions of the government and question the administration regarding the various aspects of these transactions after scrutinizing the transactions the cag may withdraw his objections or if he finds them serious incorporate them in his report which is submitted to the parliament to enable the office to perform his function smoothly he is endowed with full access to all the financial records including books papers and documents moreover the cag has the freedom to ask for the relevant information from any person or organization his right to call for information and accounts is statutory as was affirmed by the order made by the government of india in 1936 in order to enforce the act of 1935 the present provision of according him free access to files and information is a practice continuing from the past a modification however was introduced in 1954 in the central government according to which if secret documents are involved they are sent to the cag by name specifically and are returned as soon as the work is over stop